Really nice feel, really flexible, really lightweight. This kind of spin is gonna be pretty standard, so it's a really good thing to have across the board. Three techniques just to get you started with the bow staff. In this video, I'm gonna be talking all about the Rattan bow staff without skin that we have for sale at Enzo Martial Arts. I'm gonna be talking about some of its features, why you'd wanna buy this over other bow staffs, who would you use it, and at the end, I'm gonna give you a few tips and tricks just to get you started with the bow staff. Hi, my name's Doug Swift. I've been doing martial arts for the past 33 years and the owner of Enzo Martial Arts for the past 16 years. If you're liking this video, click the little icon in the bottom right hand corner, subscribe to this channel and get all the latest videos and updates from Enzo Martial Arts. So let's get into this video and learn all about the Rattan Bow Staff without skin. So as the name very, very clearly suggests, this is a Rattan Bow Staff um, made out of sometimes confused with bamboo, but it's not bamboo. It is, it is in fact rattan, but it's the same, same family. Now, usually when they have the skin on, it looks very much like bamboo, so it's really easy to confuse it. But when it's stripped like this, and it hasn't got any of that sort of hard outer coating on, it doesn't get confused so much. Sometimes it might get confused with white oak, uh, or even like the white wax, but the easy way to tell the difference is that this is bendy. So there's no, there's no confusing it, it's definitely rattan. And if you look right down the end, you can see all, you can see all the little dots and whatever that's pretty much unique to rattan as far as I know. It's a really good like, choice of material for a lot of martial arts weapons because it has that little bit of flex in it. It tends to make it pretty durable. It doesn't tend to sort of just smash to bits or sheer like, like oak can. Um, if you really smack it one, this tends to be able to take a bit of a beating. Now with the length of these, obviously it's so much momentum if you're smashing it on things. It's, uh, it might not take the crazy punishment that say like these screamer sticks would, but it will take a good knock. You can do partner work with it if you can handle the wobble in your hands. So yeah, very good, durable, pretty lightweight bow staff, which is, which is perfect for a lot of people. So I've already mentioned a few of the features, so it is very flexible. Now this suits styles, say like Tai Chi, that are gonna do all their faging stuff, and they wanna, they wanna practice getting their wobble on. Now, and also for people that want a lightweight bow staff, so say like the oak ones are just too heavy for them, they want something a bit lighter, they, some people want to be a bit faster and train with a bit more speed and not be sort of restricted by the weight of the bow staff. This is a really, really good option. So, tends to be the Kung Fu styles that will buy these, wanting a lighter bow staff, but, and a lot of Tai Chi people are picking these up, but you will occasionally get, or Japanese practitioners, Japanese martial arts practitioners, that will want to pick up one of these just because of the, the sort of lightweight nature of the staff. So being stripped of all its material, does that mean that it's skinnier than the rattan with skin? No, not, not really. They tend to use like the thicker part of the trunk. So further up on the rattan, the rattan trunk, they, they, they chop out the ones with the skin and then further down, they just shove it through a machine and take off all the skin. So you get pretty much the same thickness. Now I can give you the dimensions. So as all bow staffs that we call them on our website, they all be six foot. This is absolutely no exception. Exactly six foot or 183 centimeters. In terms of diameter, you're looking around inch, two and a half centimeters. And just having a look at the weight, weighs in at just over 500 grams, which Again, compared to the Red Oak, is a lot, lot lighter. Other features on this are the smoothness of it. Now, compared to the Rattan, that even though they're plain flat, they can still be a bit bobbly. You can get the knobbly bits on them, so they can be a little bit rough. This is really, really nice and smooth all the way down to plain flat. Now, you can still feel that it's a natural material. It's not being varnished to hell or anything like that. So it still feels like, like Rattan in your hand. But yeah, re really, really nice, nice feel, which is quite different to a lot of the other bow staffs that you buy. Really nice feel, 
really flexible, really lightweight, really good features to have from bow staff. So at Enzo Martial Arts, we have quite a range of bow staffs. So as well as the Rattan bow staff without skin, we also sell the Rattan bow staff with skin. Now for a lot of the Kung Fu guys, we sell the Waxwood Kung Fu staff. The red oak tapered bow staffs. For those wanting something even bendier, the foam bow staff. And those looking for a challenge, we do the bow staff that converts into a three section staff. But as promised at the beginning of the video, just giving you a few tips and tricks just to get you started training with bow staff. So the first thing I like to do is just get your spins going. So nothing fancy. This isn't like an advanced lesson where I'm teaching you crazy, crazy tricks. Just, just to give you a few ideas of things you can do just to get yourself started. So you can keep your hands fixed and basically do it like almost like you're, like you're paddling or whatever. But yeah, just keep one hand, I mean you can even do it with one hand if you want. So you've got the, the tip, the single tip, just doing one revolution each side. Now, once you've got used to doing this with both hands, then you can switch it up so and do an extra half turn on each side. And this is kind of the, the standard spin you're gonna be wanna be doing in a lot of different martial arts, Japanese, like uh, Korean and Chinese. You, this kind of spin is gonna be pretty standard, so it's a really good thing to have, really good thing to learn across the board. So it's all about getting that spin nice and consistent and nice and fluid. So yeah, really good one to get started with. Now you can do the opposite of this. So again, you can just spin both sides in the other direction, keeping your hands fixed on the bow staff. Really, really nice and smooth and easy. And then you can also switch it up so you change in from hand to hand, doing the reverse. So again, nice and simple. Once you've got used to those hand changes, there's, uh, there's nothing too difficult about it. But it's a good one to have so you get used to spinning it in different directions. So yeah, two really good techniques to really get you started. Now, the third technique I like just because it's just used, just gets you used to moving your body and moving around the bow staff and getting used to those hand changes without like staring at your hands, you know, being fixated on that. And it's just using those spins and just turning your body behind yourself and back to where you started. So really nice to just get your body moving so you're not just standing there with this stick spinning around you. You get to just turn all the way around. That's exactly the same hand motion that you're using for these spins. And you're just doing a few extra turns behind you. But once you start turning, it makes a lot of sense to exactly where your hand should be and where that stick should be going. Three techniques just to get you started with the bow staff. Thanks very much for watching. I hope it was useful. I hope you learned loads about the Rattan bow staff without its skin. If you like this video, remember to subscribe to the channel and get all the latest videos from Enzo Martial Arts. Thanks very much and I'll see you soon. Cheers.